Any news? Did you find my brother yet? Yeah. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. Yeah. I figured you'd want to know the truth. No matter how painful. You're right. It's worse not knowing. That's what they all say, at least. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Yeah. Sorry about that. Don't like giving people bad news, but... Best to do it in person. And... And talking of bad news in person. Do you think she's seen us? Oh, Emily won't... Right, this is not the reporter that I did an interview with and she made me... I was going to say made me look bad. Um, She helped me make myself look bad. This is the reporter that did an expose on Fist. I wonder if she's got some information for me now. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic controllers. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Are you mad? I mean, don't get me wrong. Overworked anyone is bad, especially traffic controllers. That is dangerous. You're absolutely right. But you want me to plant a bug in the control room. Traffic control of CSEC. Citadel Security. I mean, well, what does the bug do? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system. Just that's audio what you're and video. About. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. G -g you, yeah, you, you just basically want me to help you get through Citadel security to spy on the traffic control room. I mean... Wait. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? I get Ideally, fired there will be and then calls executed. to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, this is... I'm with you. People shouldn't be overworked, especially people who have jobs that require concentration so that they don't, you know get people killed. I do not want tired controllers making a mistake and having us fly the Normandy into the side of the Citadel. Totally with you on this, but, you know. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I mean, I'm not arguing that you're, that you're wrong, but... This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. But, but... I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. No, 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 no. I meant the danger of a bug, planting a bug. You know, espionage in the city. I'm a spectre. I mean, I know I'm above the law. And I, I, I could claim it was Citadel business, but it's not. I'm giving a reporter inside access to Citadel security. N I'm sorry, but there's a bit of a... That's a step too far. 
I'm trying to solve real problems, Ms. Wong. No. I don't have time for this. Goodbye. That's not... Of course, Commander. I apologize for bothering you. No, no, you. that's not what I'm... I... No, this is a real problem. It's a real problem. I totally commend your efforts at solving this completely real problem. I'm just not going to plant a bug in CSEC traffic control room. I'm just... Okay. All right, you know what? I'm just going to do the rest of my shopping and get back onto the ship and then go out there and get into lots of fights where I at least understand what the hell is going on. Ah, uh, where to for med clinic? Let's try the med clinic. There you are. Do I need to replenish? Replenish? I'm going to replenish my medi gel. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what awesome. you have for sale. Of course. Let's. You've. You have got medical exos. Oh. 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 Wait. 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 I was thinking about. Medical Exoskeleton 8. I mean, am I going to find one of them out in the wide world? Well, wide, wide galaxy? I might. But you know what? Then I got two of them. I've got two of them then, yeah? If I buy that, I'm not buying anything else from the Spectre gear. At least not this trip. Still, though. 15% reduction in power cooldown. Plus... Extra toxin resistance and three. P yeah, you know what? I'm getting it. Um, I've got a lot of medical interface fives now, so overall, we're d we're doing the the rest of the squad are regened out. Let's get the next. Oh wow, that is expensive. Oh, some of these upgrades are getting expensive, but you know what? Totally worth it. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's just, just we'll just have to wait a little longer to get the rest of the uh, the Spectre gear. I, I am going to get some better assault rifles and sniper rifles and possibly some better, well, another shotgun or pistol or two or three or as many as we can find. Okay, so this has got a shield bonus, but more importantly, a slight tech cooldown, but less of a med recharge. I'm, I'm not totally sure... If it's worth it, I mean, not the price, it's not that expensive, but you get a slightly faster tech abilities, but slower med recharge. And honestly, sometimes I really would like to spam the healing. Grenade upgrade three. You know what? That is def... Oh. Keep forgetting about you. A commander. I've been waiting for you to get back. Didn't I give you a picture last time? I gave you a picture. I did. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. <sighs> Again, no. Yes. With as much kindness as I can muster. I've got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take quite... a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? I've been saying this a lot today. Well, a lot. This is the second time I've said it. Are you mad? Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. Joke if you want, but there were people who didn't believe in you, and you worked out, right? I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. But... Okay. Uh, no. I went through years of hardship, training, horror to get here. We're... All right, let's see. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? You... You're because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. 
I wish I'd never met you. Good! Good! Now that's, that's the most sensible thing you've said! Being a Spectre isn't about being a hero, it's about staying alive, and that guy has got the survival chances of a fart in a hurricane. Alright. Morlan! Give me some good news. Cheer me up. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Both of these sets of armor are major upgrades for Garrus. But we can't afford it. I should have saved some money. I've just got it into my head that there's nothing worth buying that's not Spectre gear or upgrades for things like Medigel. I'd forgotten to check for his armor. Have we just been unlucky and we've not found Turian armor? I'm pretty sure we found some stuff for Tally, and we definitely found good stuff for Rex. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Garrus. We really, really should have saved some money. I mean, that medical exoskeleton was a nice little boost for my cooldowns, but only a slight improvement on the regen. Definitely would have been better off. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's got a lot of damage protection. But that's got so much shields and a lot of tech biotic. Yeah. All right. We need another 110,000. All right. Okay. We will, we will return as soon as we've got the money. As soon as we've got the money, we will return and, and buy that for you. Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. Okay, Garrus making chit-chat again. For some reason, that terrifies me. Wasn't so bad, though. Could have been worse. It was much worse when he was talking to Tally, that's for sure. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving Seaside? Fighting a rogue spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats Seasec. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Okay. They seem to be getting on okay. Which is part of the reason I brought Miss Williams out. I want her to get used to working with the non-humans on board. Seeing as she Stand does by seem to have side. some prejudices in, progress. in that regards. Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. So, we now need to go and investigate the site of a Geth attack. We've actually got two leads now, because the council have actually been doing something, which still shocks me, but hey, nice to be pleasant. And I'm still not... I don't know why. Asteroid X-57 is on my mind, but we're going to Ferros. We're going to the Atticum Beta system. Although, on the way, we're going to stop off a few places. Argus Row is where Rex believes his family armor is. Gemini Sigma is... Ooh, crime bosses. There's a couple of crime bosses there. Voyager Cluster. That's right. The Admiral told me there's a Cerberus base there. We really probably should make sure that uh, there's not some problem there. And I, I can't help but feel there probably is. Cerberus. That is a name I'm afraid we're going to hear a lot more of in the future. Right, yeah, let's stop off at Argus Row for Rex. Only... Okay, now we got Hydra and we've got Phoenix. Hydra. Which is it going to be? Phoenix or Hydra? Rise from the Ashes or Guard... Hydra? Wasn't that the Guardian of Hades? I mean, let's go with Let's go with Phoenix. Whichever one we picked, probably gonna be the wrong one. So, okay. Yeah. 
So, Patashi. Patashi is a sun-blasted terrestrial world whose atmosphere was blasted away millennia ago by the star Phoenix. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of tin. And apparently, Samarium. Not sure what that is. Hopefully the scientists and engineers will be able to make use of it. Silsalto. Silsalto is a standard hydrogen helium giant, gas giant. It has no remarkable features. Horses. Well, it's possibly because it's got such a terribly hard to pronounce name. Silsalto? Silsalto? That's not really hard to pronounce, and yet for some reason I find it unwieldy in the mouth. Tuntau! Okay, Tuntau is an enormous, low density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly 20 astronomic units from Phoenix, the star's great heat and the insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tuntau is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small ships travelling through the Argus Road Cluster to land for drive discharge. Alright, that's probably what we're looking for, but there's one other planet. The Binoc. Small terrestrial world with a thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of carbonaceous material, water ice and low-density silicates. Rare but concentrated loads of light metals have been deposited by asteroid impacts. Okay, you know what? Cobalt. Yeah, we've already got some of that found, but more the merrier. Right. Tun Tau. Is this going to be the... Whatever it is, we're going to take Rex anyway. We will definitely take Rex. So Rex and Tally or Rex and Garrus? They're both good at electronics now. We'll take, we'll take Garrus. Did he mention the planet? Did he mention Tuntau for some reason? It rings a bell. All right, all right, let's have a look. We have got a hidden structure, an anomaly, and some debris. Hidden structure right here. Out of curiosity, do we have... No, nope, we're ready to go. Well, the hidden structure is right here. So we check that out first. That sounds like a pretty good candidate. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we are going down there. Right, let's just. Am I seeing hostiles? Am I seeing signs of hostile? Come on, you can do it! I'm definitely scanning hostiles. Is there a way down there that doesn't involve copious quantities of gravity and form? Okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. That was what I wanted to do. I failed. Oh. Oh, it's back up high. Ah. What an oddly... Okay, pirates! Okay, then. Wait, don't shoot the Mako! Do... Why am I... Get in the Mako! Get in the Mako! Let's run him over a few times! Do not shoot the Mako! No shooting the car, okay? We do not shoot the car. Why the hell do I have a sniper rifle in my hand? Alright. Pirates. Is this... is this a... 
likely place. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We got. This is the place. Oh, God. My armor's here somewhere. All right then. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Can we? Why are we putting weapons away? You go there. Rex, go there. Okay, no. Could you a little bit more? Yeah. I just wanna no. Want to get to the door? Oh, I didn't pick up grenades. I didn't pick up. I didn't refresh the grenades. I did not refresh grenades. You two stay there. I'm gonna. I was gonna say lure them in, but. Okay. One of you go there. One of you go there. Where the hell? Are they all up above? They might all be up above. I'm gonna try and get eyes on. Okay. They've not detected us. Okay. Right. I'm just gonna hit that one. Incoming! Incoming! Okay. Oh! Missed! Okay. Can you... Oh, you don't have lift. I have lift. Is it going to work on him? Oh! Is it? No? Oh. I think I need to get rid of his shields. Thank you. Right. Rex, you hit him with that. I'm going to hit him with this. Okay. Tough. Whoa. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh! Uh, why does the... God, God, I tell you. I'm never trying melee ever again. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Okay, can, does it, right, hit there? All right, you know what, just. Okay, follow me. And, oh, you know what, can you stasis with shields on? You can, excellent. Did it work? Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Okay. Getting a little uh, ahead of myself here. Let's. What? what? Right. You know what? I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Fall back. They're coming behind us. Right. You've got... You've definitely got no armor now. You put your armor on. You start... Okay, are we still... Where are they? Where are they? Okay. I may be... A shot trooper, but I'm still taking... Oh, this... Is this the big guy? This is... What the hell is that coming off him? Tell you what. Don't care what it is. I want it to stop, so... What the... What is... Right. Got him! Shields are going back up. Oh, come on. Did I get him li lifted? Nice! Let's get moving. Was that all of them? Okay. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. Technician kit. What do you think? It's one of these. Tungsten round. Wall safe. It's gotta be the wall safe, right? Gotta be the wall safe. Okay. Let's... Okay. Combat scanner. Shredder rounds. No, it doesn't have to be the wall... Oh, this is it. no, it does. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. It's a piece of crap. You're not even going to wear it. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Awesome. I'm liking you too. Whoa, okay. Rex touches his grandfather's armor, his expression thoughtful, perhaps. Krogan's are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement, grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move. I like that. Renewed purpose. Medigel. Cryo rounds. I'll tell you what we need. We need grenades. We need grenades. Right, gents, you know the routine. We got what we came for. We've taken out all the op opposition. Kinetic buffer. Blue wire. Blue wire tool. Now it's time to loot the place. We're requisitioning military surplus. F oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> could, could one of you just turn me around a little bit? Like, just... just just give me a kick or something, right? Whoa! That... That is a huge upgrade! Duration bonus 35, power bonus exactly the same, cooldown bonus 23! That is... Cooldown bonus. That's not bad either, I tell you what. Rex could probably make use of that, I mean... Less of a power bonus, less duration, but having... I don't know. I don't quite know how much faster it goes with... Tw is that like 23 seconds faster? Tell you what. Let's let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, What else did we have? We had... Blue wire tool. Okay, that is... That's just an upgrade. Tech cooldown bonus. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. Okay, well, we're not finished here, though. We still have a number of things to investigate. We actually found your armor, first of all. We've still got an anomaly up north and debris to the northwest. I say we go to the northwest. It looks a little easier to get to and then maybe round to the anomaly. Assuming I can find some way out and then to the north and west. Okay. This looks a little bit like... Or like a frozen lake. The sort of place some giant beast's gonna pop out of. Yeah, a little bit paranoid, but... I think, all things considered, a little bit paranoid is a reasonable state to be in. Should just be around the mountain, which we are coming round. Anyone who wants to sing in the back, feel free. Help pass the time. Okay. A lot of these probes seem to look the same, don't they? Okay. And... Oh, that was not good. Oh, definitely not good. Got ya. Medical interface six. We've got loads of those now. Cry around six. We've got quite a few of those. Yeah. Oh, God. I lost the car. Believe it or not, lost the main go. Right, so now... We go north a little, and there should be a somewhat, and I do mean somewhat, less mountainous way through. Okay. This may be less mountainous, but it is still very much mountainous. And there is also some mining thing up there. 
so in the end... Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. We're going the most mountainous way anyway. Yeah, we're going down... Yeah, this was like... A complete waste of time trying to avoid the mountainous route. And... Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. What is that? Mercury! And... Oh! Oh! Gotcha. Right. There we are. Another 10,000 towards the... Garrus needs... Better armor fund. Yeah. Got some items to sell as well. Okay. Shall I attempt to go the slightly less mountainous way or shall I just give up? Plot a straight line and hope like hell. Okay. No, 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 no. We're good. Whoa. We're good. We're good. It's, it's, it's a somewhat interesting. Oh. We are. Okay, that... That is... That is not what I was expecting. That is a pyramid. But for those of you not paying attention... A pyramid in a very flat area. What is that? Vehicle? I'm waiting for a thresher more to pop it ugly head out of the ground. I'm always waiting for fresher moors. Okay. Asari capsule. An Asari capsule. Matriarch's writings recovered. You found one of the Matriarch de, Ling de Linaga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. Can we get in the ruins? I'm not. I have a feeling this is just the tip of the pyramid. I also have a feeling that it, we're not going to be getting inside. Yeah, no, I did not come up here for a selfie moment. Even though, I will admit, it's definitely the right place for one. All right. So that's... Wait. No, we've been to the hidden structure. We've been to the hidden structure. Right, well then we're done here. We're done on Phoenix. We still have... Oh, Hydra. We still have Hydra to check out. Yes, we do. Let's get over there. Okay, Varmalus. Varmalus has a thick atmosphere of nitrogen and helium. Its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alumina. Alumina? With deposits of borax. The planet has an extensive network of subterranean caves formed over the millennia by volcanic processes. In these relatively cool areas, some primitive life has developed. Second planet, Met. Message coming in. Patching it through. Okay. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Okay. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Okay, let's. Right. Warning level two heat hazard. Metgos has a large. 
is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It's a mineral mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. Right, we can't be out for very long. Level 2 heat hazard. Who are we taking? Okay, definitely feel like we're taking Rex, but... I'm also thinking tally now. Maybe we have an engineering issue. Yeah, all right. Let's go with let's go with tally this time. And oh, definitely need to make sure that we're all prepped and ready to go. Okay, level two hazard. Right, so, yeah, right, let's get the extra tech resistance and more shields, but then let's focus on damping. I am liking that. Okay, right, so, we've got a transpond, the transponder signal is south. Let's prioritize that. It sounded pretty dire. Okay. Is that it? I don't. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Let's not flip the Mako. Yeah. Let's not flip the Mako. And. Whoa. 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 Mineral deposits. Oh. Looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. Yeah, so do I now. What is that? Oh god. Tell you what. Just just get back in. Look at that. Level two hazard. Does that look a little uniform to anyone else? Okay, I'm taking the Mako down there. This this he yeah, it's a trap. Okay. Whoa, okay, let's not take too many hits. There's some pretty good shields, but Okay. More over there. Let's weaken the shields. Okay, those two gone. Work, 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 work. Oh, is there something? Right, we got things flying in. So this is a trap then. Rocket drones. Was that all of them? Okay. Let's go and check anyway, yeah? Let's make sure. I don't think there's actually any... Wait a And... Anti-vehicle... Oh, there's an anti-vehicle mine underneath. All right, right. Damn, I don't want to spend too much time out here. Okay, well, while we're down here, let's do the usual thing. Is there a way through here? I'm not... I'm not seeing an easy way. I'm just hoping there's a... Oh, that does not look like a good place to get stuck. Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. There. There. 
Alright, what on earth is this? Okay. Tyrion. Hog. An artifact. Tyrion insignia recovered. While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. All right. It may be indecipherable, but it got us 13,000, so worth looking into. Now we need to very carefully head in that direct. Okay. I did say very carefully. Luckily, the. Whoa! Oh! No, 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 no! Okay. I meant to do that. I was. Uh, I was. Testing out the structural integrity of the makeup because I was about to say it's actually a very tough vehicle, you know. Luckily. Okay, is is it me? Is it me? Or does this seem to be the wrong vehicle? Whoa, okay. I was gonna say the wrong vehicle for exploring this place. I mean, honestly. I'm not 100% sure what the right vehicle would be. I'm not sure there's enough atmosphere for, like, you know, some sort of airship. I mean, really what we need... Whoa! What we need is a fireproof billy goat. Okay, okay. And... Crashed probe. Okay, this is it. Once, once we've got this, we're done. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, shh. Four seconds. Not gonna make it. Oh, but... Oh! Uh! Okay. We do it again? Yes, we can. Let's try to get this done. Uh... Before we all burn to death. 